We're back and we continue now with our series of reports called Faith in America. Making a joyful noise has always been a big part of going to church, but sometimes the sacred and the secular pull in opposite directions. These days, the problem is many churches are struggling to hang on to musical talent as they compete with the allure of, believe it or not, show business. NBC's Bob Faw has more. In congregations like this, music isn't just triumphant. I have seen music uh, absolutely uh, work to transforming lives. It is also the foundation of worship. In fact, in some cases, it might even surpass the proclamation of the gospel. God tells us now, though, his church and scores of others nationwide can neither find nor afford qualified musical directors. There are so many churches that are so desperate now uh, who just can't find anyone. A crisis then at the console. Why does it matter? What is at stake? Well, this is what's at stake. Church leaders say this rich tradition, the thunderous anthems, the great spirituals, is now jeopardized because so many young musicians opt for the riches of the recording industry rather than the relatively meager salaries most churches pay. As a result of the lack of that excellence, we lose a lot uh, biblically and theologically in what is being offered to our people. For one year now, this Orlando church has auditioned would-be music directors like Joseph Phillips. In rehearsals, I tell people to sing loud. The big test, rehearsing choir members he has never seen before. Lean it! Strangers, yes, but soon they are making music together. Phillips could make more money in the recording industry, but he has prayed to get this job. The words that I got back were, you are here to minister through music. And Phillips was hired one year after the church began its search. Finding the one that can do all things to all, for all people to win them is very difficult in this day and time. So one choir gets lucky, unlike others, where voices will still be raised, but perhaps with less glory. Bob Fall, NBC News, Orlando.